Guys, I'm bored. Do you want to discuss anything, like, interesting at all? My first name is in the Bible. You do know nobody asked, right? It's just a name anyways. Jayla, if you're jealous, then just say that. David, quit messing with her. You know how she gets. Both of your names are special. Yeah, David. Anyway, when are you gonna leave? In a little bit, actually. I gotta get some sleep because me and Rita are gonna check out this new church tomorrow. Oh yeah, I remember. I'm actually pretty excited about that. It's gonna be my first time going to a church, so hopefully it turns out great. Jayla, I'm bored. Well, it's your fault for coming over so late. My sister has to get up early tomorrow, so we can't even be loud. Well, can we at least watch a movie or something? Maybe with the earbuds plugged in. You got any better ideas? Actually, yeah, we should make a TikTok. All right, you ready to record? Yep. I really hope that's not what I think it is. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. Jayla, what are you doing? And don't lie. I was just dancing, sis. Yeah, we're just making TikTok. Well, if that's all, why don't you show me the TikToks you make? I think I deleted it. That's okay, show me any of them. I accidentally deleted all of them. That's fine, how about you show yourself the front door? Also, that phone is going to be mine for the week until you understand how to respect yourself. That's not even fair, I was just dancing. I'm sure you were, but next time, make sure you do it without flaunting your body. You ready to go? Yeah, I am, but I'm a bit nervous though. Why are you nervous? I don't know, this being in a new space always makes me quite tense. I can understand that, but the people there should be nice. Besides, I'll be there with you. Well, that is true. I guess I should be fine. Wow, this place is pretty packed. Yeah, hopefully the sermon isn't that long. Good morning everyone, I'm Pastor Brett and I hope everyone is having a blessed day. Today we're going to be going over Genesis and when God created man. We all know we were made in the image of God, which means we share the same power as he does. Something is very off about that interpretation. I agree, it's almost like he's trying to say we're God. This is only the truth that I tell you. If anybody has a problem with what I just said, it's the devil trying to deceive them. This is like so messed up to lie to all these people and have them think this is actually what the truth is. Yeah, no, I'll probably go to the back to ask him what he meant. Hey, Pastor Brett, may I have a word with you? Sure you can. I was wondering if you can explain what you meant by we have the same power as God. I meant exactly what I said. We have the same power as God does. We're like little guys. We just have to have faith in a big God. But there's just so much wrong with that interpretation. Even in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 22, it says, How great you are, sovereign Lord. There is no one like you, and there is no God but you, as we heard with our own ears. So if we have the same power as God, why does anyone need to be saved by him? We should be able to save ourselves. Are you trying to challenge me? You're obviously rejecting the truth, for I only read what's in God's word. If you have a problem with what I said, then you have a problem with God. No, I don't. I have a problem with you leading these people astray, having them believe in a false teaching. You're only pushing them further away from the truth and tarnishing the meaning of what being a Christian is. I think we're done here. Nobody forced them to come here. If they really wanted to know the truth that bad, they would have picked up the book and read it themselves. People come here to feel good. Feel in tune with the Holy Spirit. If you have a problem with that, I don't want you in my church. Fine, then I won't be coming back. Take care. Sis, can I have my phone back? I won't use TikTok anymore. No, you have to wait till the end of the week. How's that even fair? You keep forgetting that you're not my mom. Who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do? Someone who loves you and wants to protect you? I've told you many times I don't like the way your friends are influencing you. So what? They're not your friends, they're mine. I swear, ever since you started reading the Bible, you've been trying to act like God himself. You can't control anything. This isn't about control, Jayla. It's about protection. Sure it is. You can't stop me from making myself happy. Is that what's important to you? Being happy? You know what? I'm done talking. <sighs> Jayla, come back here. No, you stay away from me. Jayla, you just can't become bitter whenever you don't get your way. That's not why I'm bitter. I'm bitter because you don't seem to understand that I'm my own person and I could do what I want. Okay, fine. You can have your phone back. Really? Yeah, you want to be happy, right? That's what's important to you? Then you can have it back. But remember when we were kids and we used to eat a lot of ice cream and mom started hiding it from us because she said it wasn't good for us? 
Yeah, I remember that. She knew that if we kept eating like that, it would affect us in negative ways, causing us to gain weight and become insecure about ourselves. But imagine if she wanted us to be happy over healthy. Imagine the kind of habits she would have allowed us to develop because she wanted us to be happy. Life isn't about being happy, believe it or not. We were not put on this earth to be happy. We were put here to do what's right by each other and help people find their purpose. Being happy is a part of life, but so is being sad, feeling pain, and many other emotions. The real question is, what's more important, what you feel or what's right? You have to think, how can we judge what's good for ourselves and what's not? What's good to most people is what brings them pleasure, not what's healthy for them. I'm here to make sure you're healthy, and that's what makes me happy because I know it's right. We already live in an unloving world full of broken people that need healing, saving, and loving. I guess I understand. It's just I don't really ever feel like anything to anybody unless I'm doing what they want me to do. I just only wanted to feel like I was worth something. But people don't seem to ever want to accept me for who I am. Jayla, listen. You're very valuable to me. And you know I love you more than anything else in this world. I just don't want you to feel like you have to reach society's standards to realize how much you're worth. Thank you, sis. I just didn't realize how much it was affecting me. And I want to say I appreciate you for looking out for me and protecting me. And I love you, too. Thank you. You're welcome. Come again. <sighs> Hopefully that's the last person before my shift is over. Mr. Thomas? David, can I speak to you for a moment? Sure thing, boss. There's no easy way of saying this, so just try to be patient with me, because this has just been really hard, and I actually consider you a friend, especially since you've been working here a while and you haven't given me any problems. I appreciate that, Mr. Thomas. But I'm starting to feel concerned. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Recently, my son told me he was gay, and he's been seeing someone for a month without telling me. I'm very sorry to hear that. I knew I wasn't there for him enough when he needed me, but I felt my business was more important to provide for him to keep us living stable. Now I realize that there's far more to life than just being financially stable. I feel like I've lost my son, and in a way, lost myself. I'm struggling to identify myself as a father. I feel like a disappointment. Listen, don't be so hard on yourself. It's hate that caused your son to turn away from who he was. Don't allow it to turn you away from who you are. Dwelling on hatred and shame won't bring him back. You need to talk to him with love and understanding. I feel it's too late for that. There's so many kids being born into confusion. They're being told it's okay to question your gender, your sexuality, and your identity. So many kids are being told to lead themselves. Can you imagine how many kids attend these pride parades? How many kids that reject themselves? How many kids that get these kinds of feelings affirmed by the people that's supposed to be teaching them to be who they truly are? I know. It's a sad world. So many kids, teens, and adults going under scalpels and needles to convince themselves that they're supposed to be that way. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many people you sleep with, how much makeup you wear, how much surgical work you have done. you always be who you were when you were born, and nothing will ever change the truth. That's the thing, you can't speak the truth these days. If you speak the truth, you're homophobic. You're a bigot. You're imposing your views onto them. You're controlling. You're evil. How can I possibly talk with my son when all it would do is possibly push him away? Well, you should just try to hear him. Don't blame him. Don't tell him he's wrong, because inside he already knows that. It causes him to become more denial, so just tell him how you feel and how much you love him. You're probably right. I can give it a shot. You know, I always felt there was a higher power. And recently I just started praying and hoping I was heard. All I can really say is keep praying. But don't pray to get out of something. Pray to get through something. When it comes to God, it's not about a shortcut. It's about making a way. When you pray, don't just pray because things aren't going right. Almost nothing goes the way it's supposed to. But pray to God to show you the best way to approach your obstacles. Thank you, David. I'll keep that in mind. Anytime, boss. Hey, Jayla. Where have you been? I haven't talked to you since the TikTok thing. Yeah, I've been meaning to tell you. I don't think we can be friends anymore. What? 
I didn't want to upset you. I just don't really feel like myself when I'm around you. I get you like to party with me and do wild things, but I just don't feel that's the life I want anymore. So you're just going to let your sister manipulate you and tell you who to hang out with? Come on, Jayla, you're not that gullible. Listen, I know it's hard for you to accept, but you don't have to bring my sister into this. She may not like you, but this is my decision. I honestly didn't know you were so pathetic. Don't talk to me anymore. Jessica, wait. What do you want? I just want you to know that you're the one that's pathetic. This whole time, I've been putting my thoughts and feelings aside just for you. The only thing you ever taught me is how to feel sorry for myself. So the next time you insult someone, ask yourself how is this going to make your life less miserable than it already is. Cause last time I checked, hating on someone never made anyone appreciate the lives they take for granted. Wow, great speech. You want me to cry now? You know what? You're a waste of time. What you say? You heard me. Oh! I swear TV is getting worse. Yeah, I know. It just seems like most of these streaming platforms are trying to pander to either the LGBTQ, feminist, or BLM just to get some ratings. Yeah, I miss the days when kids were able to watch TV without it influencing them to change who they are or follow some type of movement. Like, most streaming platforms today are just forcing their messages onto people and it's annoying. Yeah, but when you say anything about it, they cancel you. Yeah, I know. Is that your phone? Are you mad? Yep. Hey champ, how you doing? Not exactly in the mood for jokes, David. My bad, I didn't really come in here to tease you. Sure you didn't. I can't believe I fought my best friend. I really didn't want to, but I just didn't have any control. I felt so much anger, I just couldn't believe she truthfully didn't care about me. I can actually really relate to that. In a moment when emotions are high, it's hard to think clearly. But besides beating yourself up about it, you should reflect on your actions and see what you could have done better. I could sit around all day thinking to myself about a lot of things in my life that I regret. But if I spend my time dwelling on my past, how can I expect a better future? You're actually pretty right. I can't allow this one moment in my life to dictate who I am as a person. I should focus on doing better and not hinder myself with my bad decisions, but use them as a motivation into making better ones. By the way, is Rita still mad at me? She calmed down a bit, she was just pretty much worried about you. But if you don't mind me asking, what made you not want to be friends with Jessica? Well, I've just been doing a lot of thinking and I wanted to live godly, but the only way I could do that is I had to cut off anything I'm associated with that isn't godly. I'm really proud of you. I appreciate that, but I feel so much more lonely now. I understand that, but that's a part of it. The path of following Christ is narrow for a reason. Very few people take it. But the good thing is that loneliness is just the introduction and you will be dealing with periods where you feel isolated, but don't think it's because you're unlovable, but quite the opposite, you are loved by God and those who truly care for you. I believe in the times where we're lonely is the times we're closer to God because there's less distractions to keep our minds off of Him. I really struggled with loneliness, and I still do, but one thing I can say is that I've learned more being isolated from the world than being involved in it. You're definitely right. Instead of letting the loneliness bring me down, I can use it to lift me up. It says in Psalms 34 verse 18, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. So I know God is always near even in my struggles. Exactly. So just remember, as long as you have God, you will never be lost because who knows the map out of your life better than who created it. Amen to that. I really appreciate this talk with you, David. I appreciate it too.